वेलकम आई एम जी सी रेड्डी साफ्टवेर टेस्टिंग ट्रैनर अंड कंसलटेंट टूडे ऐम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन साफ्टवेर टेस्टर रोल अंड रेस्पासीबिटी साफ्टवेर टेस्टर रोल अंड रेस्पासीबिटी सी इंडेक्स सैशन इंडेक्स जस्ट ए मिनट साफ्टवेर टेस्टर साफ्टवेर टेस्टर रोल अंड रेस्पासीबिटी नैक्स्ट साफ्टवेर टेस्ट लीड साफ्टवेर टेस्ट लीड रोल अंड रेस्पासीबिटी नैक्स्ट सेलीनियम सेलीनियम automation tester automation tester roles and responsibilities next uft unified functional testing formerly fic test professional qtp automation tester automation tester roles and responsibilities next performance tester performance just a minute performance tester roles and responsibilities next last one database tester database tester roles and responsibilities okay these are the topics that uh, that i am going to explain today today's session see one small note uh, software tester job responsibilities may vary from one company to another and one project to another software tester job responsibilities may vary from one company to another sometimes one project to another what i am going to explain is general orientation job responsibilities in general orientation and by considering industry standards okay next first i am taking software tester team member team member job responsibilities <clears throat> say first one <clears throat> understanding test requirements understanding test requirements test requirements next contributing to test plan preparation contribution contributing in test plan preparation say generally test lead prepares test plan document author of the test plan document is test lead but all team members contribution is required all team members contribution required but author of the document test plan document is test lead <clears throat> next deriving test scenarios deriving test scenarios scenarios positive and negative scenarios see one test scenario may have one or more test cases see one or more test cases are required for fulfilling one test scenario for positive test scenarios one test case is sufficient 
for negative test scenarios multiple test cases required okay first deriving test scenarios from requirements next documenting test cases documenting test cases documenting test cases positive and negative test cases next updating traceability matrix document updating updating traceability traceability matrix traceability matrix document see traceability matrix mapping test cases with requirements mapping test cases with requirements so that we can identify all requirements are covered or not any duplicate test cases are there or not see mapping test cases with requirements actually test lead prepares this document all test all team members update this document throughout the life cycle test lead creates this document all team members update this document throughout the life cycle next collecting test data collecting test data why i am writing collecting test data instead of preparing test data see some test data testers prepare for example phone number object is there as per requirement it has to take 10 digit numeric values for that you can prepare test data suppose some city's information is there that information depends on customer's business that we have to collect from the customer some some test data we collect from developers that's why collecting test data see collecting just a minute collecting test data see some test data we prepare some test data we collect from customers some test data we collect from developers next creating test batches creating test batches execution queue execution queue creating test batches next executing test cases executing test cases say we have some levels of execution first level smoke testing or you can say build verification testing or build acceptance testing verifying whether the build is acceptable or not by executing basic functionality tests for example login next after accepting the build comprehensive testing means executing all possible test cases next defect reporting and tracking next regression testing etc see levels of test execution or uh, during test execution if we find any deviation from expected reporting defects see reporting defects and 
tracking for changes uh, tracking defect status tracking defects tracking for status next collecting text metrics collecting test metrics so it is optional but but uh, best practice it is optional but uh, best practice how many test cases executed how many failed for first cycle how many fixed like uh, metrics collecting test metrics it is optional but standard best practice next selecting test cases for regression testing selecting test cases <clears throat> for regression testing next <coughs> executing regression tests executing regression tests next modifying test cases if required modifying modifying test cases if required suppose if any changes in requirements then you have to modify test cases if required see these are the important <coughs> responsibilities for software tester understanding test requirements contributing to test plan preparation next deriving test scenarios from requirements next documenting positive and negative test cases updating traceability matrix next collecting test data see test data not required for all test cases only for some test cases for some test cases test data not required okay wherever required you can prepare next creating test batches execution queue next executing test cases smoke testing comprehensive testing next regression testing next final regression next reporting defects and tracking defects tracking for status next collecting test matrix next selecting test cases for regression testing cycle 1 next cycle 2 cycle 3 these regression cycles depends on strength of the development team and complexity of the application selecting test cases for regression testing cycle 1 next execute regression testing regression tests next select uh, defect reporting and tracking next select test cases for regression testing cycle 2 next second cycle regression testing like next at end final regression next modifying test cases if required okay next software test lead just a minute second one software test lead rules and responsibilities test lead rules and responsibilities uh, first one <clears throat> understanding and analyzing test requirements understanding and analyzing analyzing test requirements test requirements next risk analysis risk analysis next 
test strategy implementation test strategy is company level document test lead implements test strategy for the current project test test strategy describes how to conduct testing how to conduct testing see test strategy test strategy implementation implementation next see understanding requirements requirement next strategy how to test next estimation based on requirements and est uh, strategy estimations suppose requirement going to another city general requirement strategy how to go by car see requirement is going to another city strategy is going by car next estimations how much time how much money required etc see based on strategy estimations vary okay requirement strategy next estimations test estimations just a minute test estimations see here uh, in test estimations considerable factors are scope of the project next available resources environmental resources and human resources next budget time etc see considerable factors for test estimations are scope of the project available environmental and uh, human resources budget time etc next see by considering these factors uh, prepare test estimations next uh, two tasks team formation test plan documentation which one is first team formation or test plan documentation team formation first test plan documentation next why for test plan documentation all team members contribution is required see first test team test team formation next test plan documentation documentation first team formation then test plan documentation next one more thing it is optional but best practice configuration management planning configuration management planning see this configuration management not only for testing team it is for all stakeholders of the project it is required for developers business analyst project management also okay forget about remaining teams uh, testing team point of view what is this configuration management storing organizing storing and organizing all configurable items storing and organizing all configurable items is called configuration management <clears throat> what are the configurable items in our testing what software and hardware we use for testing and what documentation we produce during testing all come under configuration management 
for example uh, all commander configurable items test plan is configurable item test case documents configurable items test data configurable item test summary report defect reports all are configurable items storing and organizing all configurable items is called configuration management it is not mandatory but best practice next traceability traceability document preparation see i already explained test lead prepares or test lead creates traceability document all team members update this document throughout the life cycle what is the purpose of traceability document mapping test cases with requirements next defining test environment setup defining test environment test environment setup or you can say test lab setup test lab setup test lab setup see test lead or team lead defines test environment setup what to install next uh, technical support people uh, network administrator or system administrators technical support people implements test environment they install see test lead knows what to install for the project next technical support people know how to install see test lead defines test environment setup technical support people implements technical support people implement test environment next testers team members verify test environment setup during execution okay next guidance 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 to team members guidance to team members next test monitoring test monitoring see monitoring the process next test control test control uh, controlling the process if any problems are there taking actions next interacting with client side people interacting with the client side client side people next evaluating exit criteria evaluating exit criteria exit criteria say uh, you can find exit criteria in test plan document entry criteria exit criteria suspension suspension criteria entry criteria exit criteria and suspension criteria what is the purpose of evaluating exit criteria by evaluating exit criteria uh, test lead can define 
when to stop testing when to stop testing test closure for test closure evaluating exit criteria is is a mandatory task next after test closure uh, preparing test summary report preparing test summary summary report summarizing all test activities suppose test cases wrote 980 executed 972 defects raised in first cycle so and so next defects fixed in uh, first cycle so and so like summary summarizing all test activities next sending test deliverables to customer sending test deliverables test deliverables to customer uh, what are test deliverables what documents we create and use during testing what documentation we create and use during testing all commander test deliverables example test plan test plan is test deliverable test plan document test scenarios test case documents test data opened and closed defect reports and test summary report all are test deliverables okay uh, this is about test lead responsibilities next third one nowadays important one selenium automation tester roles and responsibilities selenium see selenium can be used for functional and regression testing next what are the selenium tester responsibilities say first selecting test cases selecting test cases for automation automation actually it is test lead responsibility if it is small company tester also involved in this task next involvement in selenium environment setup see selenium environment setup environment setup <clears throat> say first choose selenium tools and programming language and testing framework then configure for example if we select selenium web driver for creating and executing test cases java for programming next test ng as testing framework test ng as testing framework then first download and install java next download eclipse ide next download selenium web driver java language binding jar files and add selenium web driver jar files to java project in eclipse ide next download and install test ng framework from eclipse this is about selenium environment setup say first choose selenium tools and other tools then configure Eclipse IDE, 
Java installation. Next, Selenium WebDriver jar files download and add Selenium jars to Java project in Eclipse. Next, download and install TestNG testing framework from Eclipse IDE. Next, inspect elements. Inspect elements are you can say objects. So in UFT unified functional testing, we use term object here element. Say inspect elements uh, using a firebug firepath like plugins. You can inspect elements in. We can inspect elements in Mozilla Firefox browser. Otherwise, Mozilla Firefox having built-in feature called Page Inspector for inspecting elements. Next, if it is Google Chrome or Internet Explorer, they have built-in developer tools for inspecting element for inspecting elements. Inspecting elements. Next, creating creating test cases. Test cases for creating test cases for Oh, creating test cases using using element locators element locators and selenium web driver commands element locators for identifying the elements web driver commands for performing operations on elements next next enhancing test cases enhancing test cases in just a minute enhancing test cases using programming features programming features uh, for example flow control statements conditional statements loop statements next methods next exception handling etc programming features see selenium supports six programming languages you can use any one any one of those languages suppose if we use java use java features see enhancing test cases using programming features what is enhancing test cases inserting verification points adding comments parameterization if required synchronization if required error handling etc next next grouping test cases grouping test cases next prioritizing test cases priority prioritizing prioritizing test cases next generating uh, executing test batches executing test batches just a minute test batches and generating test reports generating test reports 
uh, using testing framework for example test ng r j unit test ng r j unit test ng is advanced framework if we use java platform support uh, then we have to use either j unit or test ng testing frameworks if we use dotnet platform then n unit is the supporting framework for java platform test ng or j unit uh, for dotnet platform n unit next just a minute <clears throat> data driven testing data driven testing data driven testing executing the same tests with multiple sets of test data for positive and negative testing data driven testing executing the same functionality with multiple sets of test data next cross browser testing cross browser testing next and data driven testing data uh, database testing selenium supports database testing see data driven testing cross browser testing and database testing next analyzing the test results analyzing analyzing the test results and reporting defects and reporting defects next defect tracking tracking for status defect tracking and select test cases for regression testing select test cases for regression testing next regression testing on modified builds regression testing on modified builds modified builds software build next final regression final regression next maintenance of test automation resources maintenance maintenance of test automation resources test automation resources see these are the important responsibilities for selenium tester selenium tester selecting test cases for automation <coughs> selenium environment setup inspecting elements next creating test cases using element locators and web driver commands or methods next enhancing test cases using programming features either java or c sharp or perl or python or ruby you have to select any one programming language see most of the selenium testers using java nearly 77% selenium testers using java next grouping test cases prioritizing test cases executing test batches and generating test reports using testing framework 
either J unit or test ng if we choose java platform if we select dot net platform then n unit testing framework next data driven testing cross browser testing and database testing next analyzing the test results and reporting defects reporting defects next defect tracking tracking for status and select test cases for regression testing next regression testing on modified builds regression testing cycle 1 cycle 2 cycle 3 like that next at the end final regression next maintenance of test automation resources see these are the important responsibilities for selenium automation tester next uft formerly qtp see take fourth one uft formerly qtp automation tester roles and responsibilities uft also for functional and regression test automation see uft and selenium purpose same functional and regression testing uft is commercial tool selenium is open source tool some companies prefer uft some companies prefer selenium both are similar in purpose okay what are the important responsibilities of uft tester first <clears throat> selecting test cases selecting test cases for automation selecting test cases for automation here no restrictions and no limitations but generally we select uh, three areas test cases uh, belongs to belong to three areas what are the three important areas tests that we have to execute on every build tests that we have to execute on every build example sanity tests next tests that we have to execute on every modified build regression tests next tests that we have to execute using multiple sets of test data data driven tests see uh, generally we select these three types of tests for automation sanity tests regression tests and data driven tests but no restrictions no limitations you can select any test case but remember 100 percent tested uh, test automation is impractical 100 percent test automation is impractical generally we try to automate maximum test cases okay next generating basic tests generating basic tests generating basic tests uh, using either recording either recording in selenium web driver no recording in uft recording feature is there either recording or keyword driven keyword driven methodology methodology means what is keyword driven methodology keyword driven framework is different keyword driven methodology is different 
what is keyword driven methodology uh, creating tests manually using shared object repositories without recording either recording or keyword driven methodology or descriptive programming descriptive programming <coughs> descriptive programming or by following hybrid approach by following hybrid approach say you can create your tests using recording or keyword driven methodology you can type test steps manually or using descriptive programming without uh, object repository or hybrid approach means some tests using recording some tests using keyword driven methodology some tests using descriptive programming no issue okay some tests using object repository some tests using descriptive programming or you can follow only repository object repository based test design or descriptive programming next inserting verification points inserting verification points next adding comments and error handling handling expected and unexpected errors next creating test batches creating test batches and executing just a minute and executing test batches say uh, this one inserting verification points uh, you can use either tool features like checkpoints or vb script conditional statements example using either checkpoints or vb script conditional statements conditional statements next for example for add uh, error handling also error handling also you can use eft tool feature a recovery a recovery scenarios or vb script features vb script features say final conclusion enhancing tests using either tool features or vb script features or you can use both okay next <clears throat> debugging tests debugging debugging tests if required it is not it is optional it is optional and executing 
executing tests execute or run synonyms debugging locating and isolating errors through step by step execution it is optional when debugging is required whenever test is not showing any errors and not providing desired output there debugging is required suppose test is test is not showing any errors and providing correct output no debugging no debugging is required suppose test is not showing any errors and not providing expected output there debugging is required it is optional next analyzing analyzing test results it is user responsibility means tester responsibility tool won't analyze test result tool provides test result tester has to analyze the test result next reporting and tracking defects reporting and tracking defects next uh, selecting test cases or tests see in uft term is test in selenium term is test case synonyms test test case or test script selecting selecting test cases for a regression testing next general regression general regression regression cycle 1 cycle 2 cycle 3 like that that is general regression next at the end final regression final regression next maintenance maintenance of test automation resources maintenance maintenance of maintenance of test automation test automation resources see these are the important responsibilities for uft uh, means formerly qtp automation tester important responsibilities for uft tester next okay i'll explain database tester responsibilities database tester database tester roles and responsibilities roles and responsibilities <clears throat> uh, what are the important responsibilities of database tester identifying database test scenarios identifying In just 10 minute identifying database 
test scenarios next connecting to database connecting to database and data retrieval operations and data retrieval operations say database testing can be done in two ways one is manual testing another is test automation say manually we can test databases back end database manually we can test database or using automation tools like uft or selenium we can test databases say manual testing is possible and test automation also possible <clears throat> next verifying verifying data integrity data integrity correctness of the data and completeness of the data correctness and completeness next verifying data manipulations data manipulations uh, example add update and delete operations add update and delete operations next data comparisons data comparisons seek uh, comparing front end data with back end data see front end front end data with back end data next database data database data with excel file data etc are comparing two different databases comparing two databases are comparing database data with excel file data comparing front end data with back end data etc next verifying verifying stored procedures stored procedures next verifying data processing verifying data processing edp electronic data processing processing suppose in banking application balance is 50000 next withdrawal operation withdrawal amount 20000 after withdrawal processing after processing the data balance 30000 see if initial balance 50000 withdrawal operation 
after withdrawal balance is 30000 processing the data see electronic data processing edp next verifying data backup and recovery operations verifying data backup and recovery recovery operations see these are the important uh, responsibilities for database tester see once again identifying database test scenarios next connecting to database and data retrieval operations verifying data integrity correctness of the data and completeness of the data next verifying data manipulations addition updation and deletion operations next data comparisons next verifying stored procedures verifying data processing next verifying data backup and recovery operations see we forgot performance tester roles and responsibilities okay that i will explain in other tutorial see today we discussed uh, software tester roles and responsibilities software test lead roles and responsibilities next selenium tester roles and responsibilities next uft formerly qtp tester roles and responsibilities next database tester roles and responsibilities okay thank you